once again to the Nigerian Ombudsman and it's a pleasure having you on this channel today and thank you for your support for this channel. I will continue to count on, on it because we need it for um, this work to grow more because the focus of this channel, like I've always said, is about the betterment of Nigeria. It's about uh, having leadership in Nigeria that is sane, that is patriotic, that is visionary, and also for us to have um, citizenship that is uh, exemplary. That's what this channel is about. And also to see a better Africa and a better world generally. Today, uh, I'm deviating slightly from what I've been doing so far. Today, I'm celebrating five women. And these are the ladies I refer to as the labor women. Uh, because these ladies are doing a tremendous job in projecting the labor party. So that's why I call them the labor women. Um, in the Kato, Nana Sani Kazare, um, Aisha Yusufu, Priscilla Amadi, and uh, Miriam Dido. These ladies, three of them are acting in official capacity, but the other two, though not serving in official capacity for the Labour Party, but they are doing tremendous job um, in the um, community. For Indicato, Nana Sari, uh, Sani Kazari and Aisha Yusufu, I'll say these women, they have been a wonderful voice for the Labour Party. And also not just the Labour Party, because from the way they speak, you can see that passion to see a better Nigeria. Um, Indicato came from uh, the APC. Uh, she, I think she was formerly uh, in the APC, but seeing that this party was not going forward, um, just like um, Kenneth Okonkwo and some others who are woke to see that this country was really not moving forward. So because of their deep desire to see better Nigeria, they had to make that shift to the Labour Party. And uh, so for these women, uh, I would say that having observed them, having watched them, of course, I've, for um, someone like Aisha Yusufu, I've known, um, I've known her um, over the years on, um, through the social media. I've not met her pe uh, in person. But uh, for the other two, um, Sani Kazari, Sani, um, uh, Nana Sani Kazari and uh, Ndekato, I didn't really know much about them before until uh, I started to follow the Labour Party even uh, with closer interest. I will say these women are doing a tremendous job. I say thumbs up to you. Uh, people might not tell you that, but um, I have observed and watched you closely. I've watched your interviews, and I'll say that uh, it is your, your, your pain um, seeing Nigeria where it is, just like other progressive Nigerians, is obvious. And I want to encourage you ladies to continue to do what you are doing. Uh, I'll say that you, your, 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 your comportment, your, your, the passion uh, for a better Nigeria is seen in the way that you speak. You are articulated uh, in the way you speak, in marshalling your, uh, your points, uh, despite even in some of the interviews uh, where it was obvious that uh, there was an attempt to undermine you or undermine um, what you believe in, in terms of your political position, but you have all you have all been able to uh, push your way uh, in presenting uh, your your opinion um, during these interviews. And I also want to um, bring up the the fourth lady, Priscilla Amadi. Uh, for Priscilla Amadi, uh, I got to know her on the interview um, that she, that, um, that she had on. Uh, TVC on the 6th of December and I will say that on that particular interview I saw the lowest of journalism in the sense that uh, journalism is supposed to, uh, a journalist is supposed to maintain a to a large extent a neutral position when 
um, he or she is presenting um, his own op his opinion or her opinion. But um, when the TVC invited Priscilla Amadi uh, to their station um, on one of their programs on the 6th of December, I would say that what they, what the way they conducted that interview is what I can refer to as uh, journalistic savagery because they, they threw decorum to the winds. And even in fact, as I was watching the program, my wife was um, was close by and once once a while she would stare at what's going on. And then she asked the question, what is all this about? Why are they so mean to this lady? But despite that, um, I would say that uh, Priscilla Amadi was able to maintain her comportment and she was able to um, present the position of the Labour Party, despite the fact that she was not an official. Um, she was able to speak about the manifesto of the Labour Party. And the interesting thing is that for you to really know how low or how um, unclassic that interview was, if you go to YouTube right now, you will not be able to see that. They have pulled the, the TVC themselves. They have taken down that particular interview because they realize, I guess they have realized, uh, or, or I guess that they have been a backfire from um, Nigerians. There have been a response to that, the way they conducted that particular interview. You will see um, on, um, on Twitter, you will see the advert for that particular interview. You will see the YouTube, YouTube link. But if you click on that YouTube link that you are seeing right now, on on the screen, you will only see you will only see where they say that the content has been taken down. So, uh, so that is to show you that TV and uh, the TVC journalists who interviewed Amadi. Uh, of course, uh, they are for Bola Metinubu, so their own position was to basically make a mockery of uh, Priscilla Amadi on that particular interview. But Amadi, regardless of the, uh, the way the TVC journalist came, she was still able to maintain her comportment. She was still able to present her point. And I saw, uh, I say, Amadi, I'm, I'm proud of you. I commend you for the way you were able to stand uh, to defend uh, your belief in the Labour Party and in your candidate, Peter Obi, uh, and uh, the running mate, uh, Baba Ahmed, uh, Dati Baba Ahmed. And lastly, the fifth lady I want to commend, uh, and I also want to use this to connect her with other ladies who have been working in the community, who have been working at the grassroots level. Uh, for, um, for Miriam, she has been there, going to the grassroots, educating people, and even showing them how to vote. Uh, some people might not see this as very important, but watching some of her videos, it was obvious that some <clears throat> Some of the people uh, or some of the um, electorate did not even know uh, the Labour Party uh, sign or logo. They did not even know how they were going to cast their vote. And the reason why this is important is that despite the fact that this might be shouting um, Peter Obi, Peter Obi, but if at the end of the day they go to the polls and do not vote right, their votes will be void. And so her work at the grassroots, along with other people who are working at the grassroots level, meeting the people one-on-one -on -one is a tremendous one. And also projecting the Labour Party through the video she's making. So I want to say uh, a big thank you to all these ladies. Your patriotism is obvious in the way you have spoken so far and in what you are doing. And I want to say continue to do what you are doing. And I hope that women will be giving more voice in Nigerian politics. Uh, probably um, that will bring some sense of sanity uh, 
to the way a nation is being governed. I'm not saying that your sex is the factor as to um, how a country is run. The, um, what will make a difference in the way our nation is run, is run is our character. Because right now we have seen that the, the values we used to have in Nigeria, the, the, the fear of God, the love of people, the value of sincerity, truth, all this have been thrown to the doors man. So it is not a matter of whether you're a man or a woman. It's a matter of your character. And character has been a problem in our polity. And that is what we are trying to restore right now. We want character, we want competence, we want capability. This is, these are the three traits we need right now. We need a person with vision to lead Nigeria. And so to these ladies again, I say thank you. Continue to do what you are doing. Uh, you might not know, but people appreciate what you are doing. Do not allow anyone to intimidate you. Nigeria at this time, we all need to stand together. And so... Once again, I say thank you, and hopefully, at the end of the day, I pray that the kind of Nigeria we all seek, a Nigeria that is far from the trajectories on today, a Nigeria where the leaders are sane, the leaders are honest, the leaders are accountable, the leaders are truthful, the leaders genuinely love the nation, the leaders are patriotic, the leaders love the people. The leaders desire in Nigeria that will be a par with other nations that has resources as we do. So I desire that at the end of the day, the light of Nigeria will shine. We will depart from this path of wickedness and retrogression we have been. I pray that we will depart from this circle that has not taken us anywhere. So come 2020, uh, come 2023, less than two months from now, go to the polls, use your vote. Use your PVC, vote wisely. Like we know, out of all the forerunners in these elections, Peter will be and Dati Baba Ahmed are the best. There's no doubt about that. And so that is why this particular episode it's about honoring these five ladies. And there are more that are working in the background, but these are the postal ladies for the Labour Party and they represent all the women who are working in the background. So the women in the Labour Party, I especially celebrate you on this particular episode. I pray that God will bless you. I pray that God will preserve you. And I pray that God will bless our nation, Nigeria. Looking forward to celebrating with you on February 25th and I want to say I'll see you in my next video if you like this particular episode go ahead and press that thumbs up and button and go ahead and also subscribe may God bless you amen